the Park Street station under Boston Common, we climb aboard a red line train outbound for Ashmont. So it's 1257 and we're boarding here at Park right now. This first section is where the MBTA has completed its most recent work and lifted nine speed restrictions. Some riders have noticed the difference. I noticed that it's like faster, like I get here at a more reasonable time than I was before. So it's been cut in half, your yeah. travel time? Yeah, it's been pretty good huh. so far. We emerge from the tunnel into South Boston, averaging so far just over 12 miles an hour. On the bright side, the cars on the expressway don't seem to be going much faster. This section is where the MBTA says it still has three speed restrictions in place. Uh, for example, if it's going like from Andrew to JFK UMass, it goes really slow. So that's Park Street to Ashmont in just under 28 minutes. At Ashmont, we wait nearly nine minutes for the next Manapan trolley. At some points, we're going more than 20 miles an hour, but as we pass through the Cedar Grove Cemetery, a radar sign shows we've slowed to 11 miles an hour. The MBTA's general manager says some sections will need to be straighter before they can be faster. There's opportunities that we could look at to, to rebuild and eliminate certain geometric features that require slower speeds. The T says in early October, an inbound trip from Mattapan to Park Street took 46 and a half minutes. It took us today 37 minutes. And what the T says used to be a 52 minute outbound trip, we did nearly five minutes faster. So from Park Street to Mattapan in 47 minutes and 28 seconds. And just by way of comparison, this right now is Google Maps, and I just did the same trip by car from Park Street out here to Mattapan Station, and you'll notice it is 46 minutes, so a minute 30 faster by car, and of course that doesn't include parking.